Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone and thank you for joining us to dedicate the opening of the new Thomas Ewing Junior High School. Yeah. yeah. I'm Steve Wigton, Superintendent of Lancaster City Schools, and it's with great pride and excitement that we're here to share this brand new state-of-the-art building uh, with you. And after our dedication ceremony here, the building will be open for self-guided tours. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to introduce the non-speaking people seated on the stage, uh, beginning with the Lancaster City School Board. Uh, Kathy Kittrich, Lise Ricketts, we have our Vice President Jay Nauman, and President Diane Garlinger, who will be speaking later. We have our treasurer, Julie Taylor. We have our director of business, Jerry Rainey. And uh, board member Amy Iman is not able to be with us uh, here tonight due to hosting the Fairfield County uh, Foundation donor event. Also, uh, we'd like to welcome uh, from the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission, uh, Valerie Montoya, who's here with us as well today. Before we begin, also, I'd like to take a moment to recognize uh, some very special people that uh, made this event possible. Uh, first, Leanne Haight and Tish Duncan for organizing this event, along with Darryl Beck, or, excuse me, Dora Bechtel from Resource International. Uh, we had our Sheriff's Deputy, Paul Roberts, and Casey Rainier and the Lancaster City Schools Maintenance Crew, along with Jeff Eversole and the Lancaster High School criminal, criminal Science students for parking and for crowd control. We have Scott Burke here with us and Josie Sparks, uh, who are going to be videoing this event. I certainly want to thank the Summit Construction Site Superintendent, Tim Baden, uh, along with his sidekick, Jake Jerzecki, uh, to put in a lot of work here in, lately, and along with Shore, uh, site architect Gary Plaz for getting this building ready for today's event and certainly a big thank you goes to Jerry Rainey our director of business who also is a proud product of Lancaster City Schools and Thomas Ewing Junior High and uh, without him uh, none of this would be possible let me tell you and we have a special guest over here in the corner we have Gusto with us today so please give all these folks a nice round of applause Okay, to kick us off at this time, I'll invite you to join with Boy Scout Troop 95 and Troop 106 as they post the colors, blow us on the stage, and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. We're pleased to have a number of elected officials with us uh, here today and representatives uh, to say a few words. And uh, we will kick it off uh, with uh, representing our U.S. Senator Rob Portman. We have with us Jason Knox. Good afternoon. Thank you for the invitation to be here, Steve. It's an incredible honor to be here on behalf of Senator Rob Portman for the opening of the Thomas Ewing Junior High School. This is a representation of an incredible investment in this community and investment in the education of our children. And I'm just, I mean, it's, it's great to see the outpouring of support that we have here in the audience today. Um, so I just wanna say congratulations to everyone who was involved on behalf of Senator Portman in this, in this uh, project and uh, best wishes for the future. Thank you so much. Next, representing our U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown, we have Ellen Short. Well, I don't want to listen to that, but there's just no way. Okay. Um, thank you for you having are me. Yep. Ellen Short, yeah, name the name is Ellen Short. Name, yeah. It's a big joke. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Um, thank you for having me. Um, it's always a pleasure to be here in Fairfield County, especially Lancaster. I love it here. Um, ate at the well today. It's my favorite place. So really jealous that you guys get to have that all the time. Um, Senator Brown is in Washington, D.C. today, um, so I'm here on his behalf. Um, but I do have a few words from him. Um, the letter reads, Dear Friends, Please allow me to extend my congratulations on the grand opening of Thomas Ewing Junior High School. This is the culmination of years of thoughtful planning and collaboration. Within these walls, students, teachers, volunteers, and administrators will continue a proud tradition of excellence while serving a vibrant community. However, bricks and mortar are not what will make this institution great. It is the dedicated staff, exceptional students, and supportive community that will make Thomas Ewing a special place. Thank you to all of those who worked hard over many years to make this day possible. Please accept my warmest congratulations on a job well done. Sincerely, United States Senator Sherrod Brown. Thank you very much. Next, representing U.S. Representative Steve Stivers, we have Will Lloyd. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, Steve is also out in D.C. today. Okay, good. Uh, but I have a quick proclamation to read on his behalf. Uh, today marks the completion of an ambitious project that will benefit the Thomas Ewing Junior High School community for years to come. By investing in our children and the education they receive, we are investing in our nation's greatest natural resource and we're serving, excuse me, ensuring a bright future for our country. On behalf of the citizens of Ohio's 15th Congressional District, I proudly recognize the Thomas Ewing Junior High School community on this momentous occasion and wish you many more successes in the future. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, our uh, state senator, um, Tim Schaefer, is uh, not able to be with us today. He was hoping to be with us here. And uh, unfortunately, uh, he is uh, doing work up in Columbus. Uh, but he did provide us with a nice proclamation, so um, we will certainly be posting this. And next, I'd like to call on our state representative, Jay, uh, Jeff Larray. Good afternoon. Thank you, Superintendent, for inviting me today. Um, he asked me to keep this under an hour, so I'll do my best. <clears throat> As a father, father of three children, I understand the importance of investing in our youth and our, the future of our community. So having a modern and safe facility that will address the unique learning needs of each individual student will prepare them for the challenges that lay ahead and ensure the success for their continued education. So I just want to congratulate the superintendent the school board, teachers, staff, parents, and especially the students for what will be a wonderful addition to an already great school system. Thank you. And uh, now representing uh, local government, we have our mayor for Lancaster, Mr. Dave Sheffler. Well, I'm barely inside the door 100 steps, and I'm already so impressed with this room. I, it's just beautiful. Um, so I'm looking forward to more things as we get around. Can you imagine, after going to school for, at, or teaching at Thomas, the existing Thomas Ewing, for a couple of years, what it's going to be like to come here in January and see this beautiful facility? I think everybody's going to be surprised. But we're here today to celebrate six done and two to go. So let's, let's give Steve and the board a big hand for that. We're looking forward to a few more months to do this out of General Sherman. So events like this are just a wonderful reason why we are all loving Lancaster. Uh, what a great tribute. As mayor, these schools are a very positive factor for future economic development in the city. Not only are the buildings themselves important because we can drive prospects by or show pictures of the buildings and how beautiful they are, but the citizens' commitment to education and the future of Lancaster by voting for the funds it takes to build resources and buildings like this 
uh, is a wonderful thing and demonstrates to anybody coming in that we're a city that believes in ourselves. So I want to thank all the voters who supported this and had faith in the school board and the administration to get it done, and they did get it done. And a big thumbs up to them for getting it done. So congratulations, and we're looking forward to doing this again in, what, about nine months? Six months. Six months. All right. Good deal. Yeah. You know, I got to give the mayor a little plug here because it's uh, not only is he supportive of new facilities, new educational facilities, but uh, also supportive of uh, the education that goes on. He's a part of the um, early literacy and kindergarten readiness collaborative. He also is a very active member uh, with the Fairfield County Economic Development. Uh, coordinator for our uh, career credentialing program to uh, link employers with our high school students. So certainly kudos to uh, Mayor Scheffler and we greatly appreciate uh, your support and your involvement. Okay, now we certainly would not be here today if it were not for the planning and our construction team and we'll hear from the, some of those folks here uh, in just a moment. Uh, so this is the sixth building that we've completed in partnership with the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission. And uh, we've been very fortunate to have the same project manager for all six buildings, and she's with us for the seventh building, June, uh, General Sherman as well. And uh, we'll have her up to speak, Stacey Thomas. Good afternoon, and thank you for allowing me to be part of today's dedication. <clears throat> Um, that's right, I've been here uh, through all six of these, and it's been a wonderful time. Uh, I think we started these in 2012. Mm. And I've probably worked on over 100 buildings in my 19 years doing this, and this is probably one of my favorite districts to work with. Um, they're just so easy to get along with. We have a good time. Um, <laughs> But anyhow, I just I want to thank you on behalf of uh, Governor Mike DeWine and uh, all of the OSFC staff um, for allowing us to be part of this. But I want to do something a little different because this is my sixth one, and I think people need to be recognized. And it's Christmas time, so we're going to kind of put a Christmas theme on this because there's a lot of reindeer and elves that have helped make this Christmas present. Um, come true. So as we all know, we have Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen, and Rudolph and Santa and all the elves. So each one of these represents somebody here, and I'd like for you to stand up. So we have Dasher, Tony Shore, <laughs> and we have Dancer, Dave Joliff, I don't know if he's here, and Prancer, Gary Plaus. Those are our shore reindeers. And then from Summit Resource, we have Vixen, Andy Rogers. <laughs> yeah. And as you know, I chose that name for you for a reason. <laughs> um, Comet, Jason Connor. I don't know if he's here. And Cupid, Adam Hewer. And we have Donner, Tim Baden. And we have Blitz and Jake, I'm going to screw this up, Jazerski. Jazerski. <laughs> And we all know who the most important reindeer of all, Jerry Rainey. Yay! And then we have Santa, Steve Wigton. And then there was tons and tons of elves, and I know I probably won't get them all, so if I don't mention you, please stand up if you were one of the elves. But we have HVAC, HA Mechanical. Anybody here from there? And we have the Plumbers Accurate Mechanical. Stand up. And electric, electrical with City Electric, fire protection, Guttridge, concrete, Arledge Construction, Mason Relang, steel with Jenkin, and the site was Truco. Looks like a lot of our contractors aren't here, but we did have a lot of elves that helped on this project. And I really want to thank everybody that without my reindeer and my elves and Santa, you guys made my job so easy. 
I really appreciate it. But congratulations to the district and all of the community members and the children of Lancaster City Schools. Thank you. You would you just want to come right on up, Mr. Schaefer? Huh? <laughs> so State Senator uh, Tim Schaefer has made it here, and I, I got to tell you, he also is a proud product of Lancaster City yes. Schools and Thomas Ewing, right? Yes. Well, no, I live near it, the old one, but... <laughs> oh, okay, well, he didn't go to Thomas Ewing, but he's a proud product of Lancaster City Schools. Tim? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Wigdon, and what a great day it is. Uh, I'm a graduate of Lancaster High School, but I moved here in ninth grade, so... Oh. <laughs> right, Jerry? Remember those days? I remember those days. Uh, wow, thanks so much to the voters and the taxpayers and the schools, the system, uh, the faculty, the staff, everybody who has pitched in. This looks great, doesn't it? This is fantastic. Um, what a beautiful facility, beautiful place. I'm very, very proud to have supported this, not only with my vote here locally, but also with a vote in the General Assembly. The state of Ohio is contributing $10.5 million, or about 45% of the total project between the two junior high schools for this project. So very, very proud of that. Um, it's all part of over $13 billion that the state has uh, contributed towards building and rebuilding and outfitting school buildings throughout the uh, state of Ohio. So I know, Jerry, you've had a big part in that, uh, leading the way for many, many years. And Representative Larray, you're part of it now. Um, wow, we're all very proud of uh, what you're all accomplishing and proud to play a small part of it. Uh, so God bless you and keep up the fantastic work. Go Gales! So I, and I'll tell you, folks, it's, it's great to have representation in Columbus from Lancaster. And Tim's doing a fantastic job. He, you know, we can communicate with him on any issues, and he's very responsive. And he has worked to make sure that the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission is getting what they need to help us. And uh, just as his predecessor, uh, Jerry Stapleton, who you're going to hear from soon, uh, did as well. Moving on with our planning and construction team, again, we're very fortunate to have another Lancaster City School product, and I do believe you're a Thomas Ewing alum as well. Uh, our architect for all six buildings and for our seventh building as well has been Tony Shore, and Tony's here with us uh, to share a few words. You know, Steve, you probably should have started with the tallest person down to the shortest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, and I'm glad uh, Steve stepped in because I don't know how I was going to follow Stacy. Uh, but uh, it's hard to believe for me, 47 years ago, uh, I stepped, my first step into Thomas Ewing, and it's just amazing how fast 47 years have gone. Uh, I want to again thank the school board and the district administration for giving me and our team this opportunity again uh, to create great facilities for the city of Lancaster. So thank you. And thank you guys, it's, it's, it's been great. Uh, I do think we do need to recognize again uh, Steve Wigdon and Jerry Rainey. Uh, you know, these projects are successful because of their involvement and they are very involved with your projects. You, you've got two great people here that have really tremendously helped us build all of these schools and they're very active. So thank you guys very much for your work. I also want to thank the UFCC, the Ohio Facility Construction Commission, for the opportunity, and also Stacy Thomas. You know, Stacy's been a good advocate for Lancaster Schools. She's been committed to this district, and uh, it's been great to have her on the team and have her commitment. So thank you as well, Stacy. I do want to take a few minutes to recognize a few elves of ours, and I don't even know who all came in, but. Um, we always have a partner, uh, we work with Lancaster Schools, an architectural firm that partners with us. And they've assisted with programming and conceptual design, the interior design and the colors and the finishes and the furnitures you see today, Leggett Architects. Uh, and we have a couple representatives here from Leggett. If you guys wouldn't mind, either wave your hand or stand up. But Robin is here, Carly's here, and Ann is here. And thank you guys very much for your help. 
place looks great. It looks great, thank you. Uh, we also, I wanted to recognize uh, Vicki Newell in our office. She's been very active uh, in the project management. Our, she's our project architect from Shore. She took the conceptual design, finished it, worked with consultants, and did a great job preparing our documents, and then she's very active. She couldn't be here, but I wanted to recognize her. And Gary, thank you. We've already, already recognized that reindeer, I think he was. Uh, but Gary, thank you again. He's been down here a lot in the last year and a half. Uh, and so thanks, Gary. Uh, we also have some representatives from Roger D. Fields Associates, our mechanical electrical engineers. I know Mike is here. Mike, where you at? Did Greg show up? There's Greg, Greg Top, and John Kerr, uh, and all those guys. Again, thank you for your help. Uh, they've done a great job for us. So if you're too hot or too cold, it's their problem. Uh, is Glenn here? Glenn Decker, our civil engineer. Oh, Glenn's up there. Uh, civil engineers deal with the site, utilities and pavements and those type of things. Uh, and Glenn, thank you and your staff for helping us as well. So thank you, Glenn. I appreciate it. And I don't know if anybody else walked in. There's a few other people on our team, but, uh, but anyway. Um, Who's that? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, I also want to recognize Summit Construction. Uh, you know, guys, these are the best construction managers that we've worked with. Uh, they have been very workable. And not only are they a good contractor and a good construction manager, but they're good people. And, and that's helped make this process work so well. I mean, it's just been a great, a great relationship. And then thank you guys for all your hard work. This is a beautiful facility they've constructed for us. So thank you as well. I just have one brief statement I'd like to close with. A school is a building with four walls with tomorrow inside. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. We selected the combination of Summit Construction and Resource International to manage the construction of our final two elementary buildings. Talmadge and Medill. And this team did such a great job that we selected them again to manage the construction of this building as well as General Sherman. And here to represent uh, Summit Construction and Resource International is our project manager, Adam Hewer. Uh, thank you all. I'll try to make this quick. Um, you're going to hear a lot of the same names over and over again, but I don't think that uh, everybody here can be recognized enough for, for all their hard work. So on behalf of Summit Construction and Resource International, I'd like to thank the Lancaster community uh, for allowing us to build the new Thomas Ewing Junior High School. Uh, there are numerous other people and organizations that I need to thank. Uh, it starts with the school district, uh, specifically Steve Wigdon and Jerry Rainey. Their commitment to the community and the school district is, uh, is truly second to none. So without them, uh, I don't know how this would go. Uh, I'd also like to sta uh, thank Stacy Thomas and the OFCC for the partnership and their commitment to provide new schools to this community. Um, like we said earlier, uh, Tony Shore and Gary Ploss with Shore Architects, uh, they, they've been just great to work with. Um, we've worked with them, like everybody said, this is our third school and we're, do we're doing the fourth, uh, General Sherman now as well. Uh, but I also want to recognize our two guys uh, from Summit. Tim Baden and Jake Jazerski, uh, they, de they deserve a tremendous amount of credit for the time and effort they put into this project. Um, I, I can't thank them enough. I mean, it goes kind of unnoticed sometimes, but, uh, but we, we certainly uh, we recognize everything you guys have done. Um, as Stacy mentioned earlier, finally, our subcontractors have worked very hard. We've had more than 300 workers uh, contributing to this project. Uh, we're very grateful for all of their hard work, and, uh, and we've enjoyed working on Lancaster schools for the past five years, and, and we hope to continue this partnership in the future. So thank you very much. As you can see, it takes the work of a, a lot of people uh, to get this building planned and uh, delivered. And I do want to uh, call on one other person. We have with us here today uh, the founder of Summit Construction, Mr. Lou Seraldo. Lou? Thank you for being here with us today. Now moving on, uh, we'd like to uh, invite some speakers from our district. First, we have our Lancaster City School Board of Education President, Diane Garlinger.
good afternoon, and on behalf of the Board of Education, I welcome each of you and thank you for taking the time to support the staff and students of Thomas Ewing Junior High as we honor our past and celebrate our future. As I prepared for this moment, I couldn't help but think about the memories made as a senator, not just by me, but also my fellow board members. Four of the five of us are senators. My husband, we met when we were senators, and all four of our children. As a former student, I think about the lifelong friendships formed, the lessons learned, and the teachers who helped mold me. I remember a time Christmas caroling with friends, and by chance, knocking on the door of Mrs. Babcock, who invited us in to get warm, and I remember the tears that gently rolled down her cheek as we sang. She taught us English in the classroom, but that night she taught us something about gratitude. As a mom, I have a deep gratitude for the staff at Thomas Ewing. They met our children at the door, took them by the hand, and led them down their path. Sorry, I'm a mom. <laughs> you guys rock. <laughs> um, the staff has gone above and beyond building relationships with our children, nurturing our daughter's love of all things Harry Potter, <laughs> agreeing to lead drama club when a few girls came with a crazy idea to start one, and then coming to watch them perform in a community play twice. Um, cultivating our daughter's love of music, encouraging her passion for science and cheering with her at Olympiad competitions, believing in her algebra skills when she didn't believe in herself, helping her find her confidence, and teaching her what it means to be a rocks girl, allowing her son and daughter to help in your classroom because for them, just one year in your class wasn't nearly enough. And for our son, who approaches his path with caution, leading an art class and an after-school club where he feels welcome and free to be creative and explore new things. Now as we transition to this beautiful new building, I'm confident that you will continue to support our children all of our children with the same compassion, drive, and enthusiasm as new memories are made. And someday, our children will look fondly back on their years as a Thomas Ewing Senator. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. It's great, you know, it, it, this is a magnificent, wonderful building but it's the people who are delivering the education that really, really make it come to life and really make it personal. And uh, we always remember that. <laughs> also would like to recognize uh, with us here today is the director of the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission, Cheryl Lyman. Where's Cheryl? There's Cheryl. Thank you for being here with us today. As we kick off a new era for Thomas Ewing Junior High, we always like to reach back and honor the contributions of our former Board of Education members uh, because building new buildings has been talked about for over 20 years in this school district and it's been the work of board members prior to us that helped pave the way. And today I'm pleased to introduce former Lancaster City Bo School Board of Education member, president, and former state representative, uh, Jerry Sebelton. Jerry was serving in the House of Representatives and was very instrumental in getting our master plan approved for funding several years ago. Jerry? Thank you, Steve. Um, as I reflected on this uh, wonderful building and all the nuances that it has that we can't even con could not have conceived of 40 years ago, I thought back about the times when I was on the Board of Education and leading it as a president and realized that we went to every building in the district to have meetings. And that gave us a bird's eye view of what was going on within those buildings and we could see firsthand the deficiencies, the, some of the things that we needed to do and that was in 1983, Steve, so it was a lot more than a couple decades ago. So, 
But I, I want to reflect also because I think I'm the oldest person here, and that's really why he invited me. <laughs> uh, and I probably am the only one uh, of that age who is here that started in Lancaster City Schools at West School in 1945 and graduated from Lancaster High School in 1957, just before Thomas Ewing School opened, same year. So I'm one of the few people that never got to go to a new building. <laughs> Don't cry for me. <laughs> this is wonderful. But I will say this. I think back about my time at Lancaster High School, and we had a, we had a principal my freshman year by the name of Jack Brown. And Jack just barely got started as principal that year, and he had a severe heart attack and was out the rest of the year. Well, since he didn't have that last year at the high school, they gave him the opportunity the next year to become the new superintendent of schools. And Jack was the, the brains behind and the moving force behind the building of new schools in the 1950s and 1960s for Lancaster City Schools. And that leadership was infectious because I believe that that, that thing that he did to look at the school buildings, realize how deficient they were, and to exert the pressure upon this, the community and lead the community to build these schools was really, really important. Now, let me tell you about the vision, though. However, the new, the new high school opened in 64. My half-sister was a student there in 1970 and graduated in 1970. And she was on one of 2,300 students in a building where they had to go half-day sessions. So they didn't envision what needed to be envisioned about the size of that school and the complexity of what they were facing. I believe that the, the leadership of this district, the boards of education for the last 30, 40 years, and the superintendents of schools and their staffs, and the teachers especially, have been instrumental in coming to the day where we are today. With all new buildings in about three, four years, We'll have all new buildings in Lancaster, Ohio, and there are very, very few districts in Ohio that can say that. And so I want to thank you, the voters of the city of Lancaster, and this Lancaster City School District, the leadership team, and all the people who worked on this facility because you've done a beautiful job, and I look forward to seeing you at the General Sherman dedication in about six months. Thank you. <laughs> Now the guy that's going to open up this building to students and staff on January 6th, Steve Poston. Wow, it is an honor to be here today. First, I would like to say thank you to our community who voted to build this school. This is such an exciting time for Lancaster City Schools, Thomas Ewing Junior High, to have a new junior high since 1957. I am honored to be a part of this dedication, and as a proud Lancaster City School graduate, I am very honored to have the opportunity to be the principal of this school. What an exciting time for our students, our district, and our town. Lancaster City Schools carries out the work of professional learning communities, putting learning at the forefront. We will grow in this school as we use this school to continue collaboration of teachers to promote learning of our students. What we do in Lancaster City Schools through excellent teaching and learning will continue to grow here as well. We are so much more than the building itself. We are about all of us, our students, parents, staff, and most importantly, our community. At this time, I would like to take this opportunity. Uh, it's, very, uh, it's an honor to open a building. We're probably one of the few districts, maybe the only school this year that gets the opportunity to have two first days of school. So we're going to go, go with that. But at this time, as we're trying to wrap up one and open one, i, I got to give my staff a nice big round of applause and recognize them for going through what they're doing and thank them for all that they do. We cannot wait for the next 11 school days and until January 6th to bring Senator Pride to Sheridan Drive. Here is the Thomas Ewing 8th grade band under the direction of Mr. Jared Smith with the Lancaster City Schools fight song.
So in 2012, as a community, you recognize the important need to provide modern elementary schools for the future of our children by passing a 4.1 mil bond levy to fund the construction of five new elementary schools. The elementary construction project was completed in January of 2017. And as we reported last week, uh, we have refinanced the elementary construction bonds to save taxpayers over $8 million over the term of the bond. In the fall of 2015, the community stepped up once again at the polls and renewed our 1.5% earned income tax on a continuing basis. And this gave us the financial security to finance our portion of the construction of a new Thomas Ewing and new General Sherman Junior High School without raising additional taxes. And our partners, the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission, are covering 45% of the co-funded costs of these buildings. And I'm happy to report that this building is coming in under budget. And thanks to your approval of a 3.7 mil bond levy last spring, uh, we'll be able to complete the replacement of all schools in the district by constructing a new high school. The Ohio Facilities Construction Commission will also be providing 45% of the co-funded costs for the new high school. And we hope to begin the planning process for the new Lancaster High School uh, late summer or early fall, this fall. And in a moment, you'll be able to tour this magnificent building on your own. And if you're like me, when you walk around this building, you're going to say, wow. As you tour the building, I want you to keep in mind two things. First, that this is an investment in our community. And more specifically, it's an investment in the youth of our community. And I can think of no better investment a community can make than in the education of its youth. Education is one of the most important responsibilities of our society. It's the future of our children that are at stake, and as such, the future of our community is at stake. And receiving an education is a life-changing experience which empowers people to become successful in life. Therefore, it's important that we have modern facilities such as this one, because modern educational environment is the best way to carry out the important work of educating our children. And quite frankly, our kids deserve this and our staff deserve this. And the, the second thing I want you to keep in mind is that this magnificent building has been built without raising your taxes. Uh, because of the district's responsible budgeting practices and the co-funding from the Ohio Facilities Construction Commission, a very rare feat in the state of Ohio. This building did not cost you, the taxpayers, any more money than what you were already paying. Now on the back of your agenda, you'll find an outline of the building. The areas in the building are marked with yellow signs out here in the building. And the Thomas Ewing staff, who are all in their Thomas Ewing t-shirts, uh, will be around and can help, uh, help assist you. Um, Couple other things I'd like to point out. The seats you're sitting in here retract back into the wall. And then this is the student dining area. But uh, as you can see, when the seats are out, it turns into an auditorium. Uh, in each of the classroom sections, you'll find teacher preparation areas and extended learning areas. And that's very important for modern learning because education takes place everywhere in the building. Uh, when you visit the classrooms, do not open the operable window. It's an alarm, all right? And the alarm will go off, so don't open any windows, okay? Uh, in the two-story classroom section, science labs are located on the second floor. And uh, you'll notice as you walk around, there are some final touches to the building uh, that still need to be done, and those will be completed by the opening of the school year. And uh, again, I'd like to thank you for joining us and enjoy touring the building that you, the citizens of Lancaster, have built. Thank you very much.